seen you! Here you are! You two. I did not expect to meet you here. Is it official or private affairs that bring you here? Uh, I shouldn't. I have left the human world. Please contact the Yuahai Pavilion regarding matters concerning the commercial port. Huh? You don't want to be the Chi-Sing secretary anymore? But they're all waiting for you to come back! That's why you're here? You want me to come back? I'm afraid you came here in vain. What? Did something happen? The clouds fold and unfold. The tide ebbs and flows. It was meant to be. When the Adepti entrusted humans with overseeing Liyue, I knew it was only a matter of time until I had to leave. My Adepti blood makes me unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. <sighs> I delivered the letter and came back to Liyue Harbor, only to discover that I had been replaced by Baiwen, Bai Shao, and Bai Shu. Perhaps that mission of mine was just a pretext to remove me. Since the Qi-Sing gave me a chance to leave with dignity, I decided to be tactful as well. I appreciate your kindness, but there's no need for your words of comfort. After a thousand years away, I came back to Juyun Karst. Looking at the clouds floating among the mountains brings me peace of mind. I feel better now. Uh, but... Who disturbs the peace of these mountains? Cloud Retainer? We're terribly sorry, we just... <laughs> One merely jests. One felt your presence the moment you set foot upon this land. Wow, you Adepti really are impressive! Come here to chat about the old times with Ganyu. It looks like you get along quite well. <sighs> ah, a matter leaves you at an impasse then. Not to worry. One is exceptional at seeking avenues for conversation. One has been one's own companion in idle talk for many a year. Ah, yes. Since you are Ganyu's friends, tales from her youth shall one apprise you of, perhaps? Oh, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. You were so cute as a child. One is most certain that your friends would like to hear of it. Little Gone you loved when the horns on the top of her head were caressed. When one was still taking care of her, one was pestered most often to touch her horns. She was elsewise loath to sleep. Wow! Plump she was back then. Why, when she stumbled while we ascended the mountain, she would roll down to the bottom like a little ball. The day Ganyu bumped into a pilgrim was the first time she saw a real human in the flesh. So fearful she was that she hid in a rock's cleft for two days and nights. One found her wailing of a monster she had seen. <laughs> Cloud Retainer? Uh, forget it. It's about time for my training. I will take my leave. Ah, one's intention was merely to relieve the awkward tension. And you did the exact opposite. Impressive! Be that so? Huh. But returning to Ganyu, most gladdened one is of your arrival. One cannot help but feel that remaining in Jueyun Karst shall not be good for her. One will tell you more about her, if you should permit it. Most benevolent among all Adepti are the Chilin. They drink only spring water and eat only whole grain. But perhaps the mountainous dwellings of Adepti in Joyung Karst might be too lonely for her human side. Under moonlight did one see her last. She stood by the precipice's edge, and upon the mist-veiled mountains she gazed. Her thin figure was immersed in the vast sea of clouds. 
one noticed her loneliness and sought to convince her to go back to the human world. But just then, she said thus. Leo Harbor feels even lonelier than Juyun Karst. When I look at the sea of clouds in Juyun Karst, I merely feel the loneliness of a solitary cloud gazer. When I step into the sea of people in Leo, I feel the loneliness of an inhuman that doesn't belong in the human world. One did, by chance, hear this much of Ganyu's thoughts. Alone. She will find her predicament hard to conquer. One hopes that you will accompany her. Oh, Retainer's right. We can't leave Ganyu depressed like that. Besides, Liyue hasn't given up on her. She's got it all wrong. Anyways, what's that training Ganyu was talking about? She has sought to reclaim her Adeptus side since returning to Zhuoyun Karst. At her behest, one has organized training for her to achieve that end. She should be in the southern part of Mount Aozong right now, preparing for the trial. Huh, is that so? Let's go take a look then! <laughs> 